Trishna here. I hope you guys are well. Today I want to talk to you about something that I think is really important to each and every one of us living a very happy and fulfilled life. And if you guys have been um, reading my blog, you may have seen that I had a post a short while ago called How to Cure Loneliness. And basically the way to cure it is to understand and find within yourself what your purpose is. Now, when I use the word purpose, I'm not necessarily saying that there is some purpose that you are being given that you are supposed to fulfill and that it's being given to you from some external source, maybe a higher power. If that is something that you believe in, that's perfectly fine. It really, I mean, that's great. That's good too. But if you're an atheist and that's really just not the kind of mindset that you ascribe to, then that's also fine as well because um, your purpose doesn't have to come from external to yourself. I really think one of the most important things to helping you find your purpose and therefore your happiness is really being grounded in yourself. I think the word purpose sometimes is like a loaded term. I don't know if that's really the right expression, but it's one of those terms that seems to hold so much weight to it. Purpose just sounds like it needs to be this huge thing of all these people you want to help and just this huge impact you want to make on the world. And yes, it is definitely a important component of the purpose, but it really doesn't have to be that way. I think really the way to look at the purpose of your life is to think about once you've lived through this lifetime, what will you have wanted to achieve or accomplish? And that could just be for yourself. It could be that I would really like to be somebody who was an expert on this topic, or I would like to be somebody who created a family um, of wonderful children that, you know, found who they were and lived happy lives. Or I really want to have, it can even be materialistic, you know, it can really be whatever feels right for you. It could be like, I really want to have um, this kind of house, make this amount of money, drive this kind of car. Um, and if you guys watch my consumer mindset video, if you haven't watched that, maybe go look at that because I think a lot of um, our material desires are actually given to us from the external side. But, um, you know, if that really is something that resonates with you and really would make you happy for yourself and not because you need to prove that you have all this stuff to somebody else or to fill a void, then, you know, that's a perfectly fine purpose as well. It really depends on you and your personality. But essentially, it's like when you, like, are about to um, pass on and you look back, what would you consider a successful life? And so if that's having um, having XYZ materialistic possessions and you think like, yeah, I had a really good life, I had fun, I enjoyed things, I bought nice things and I treated myself well, that is a perfectly good purpose. And then if you are somebody who has a bigger purpose, like, um, you know, like I helped X many people or these were the kinds of people that I really cared about and I helped, I helped them in this way um, you know, that could be a really good purpose as well. So don't, um, don't get too caught up on the word purpose. Really just think about when you're at the end of your life and you look back, what would you consider, what would be your measure of success? Like what would make you feel good about the life that you lived? Probably a better term would be the word goal, but I think people usually um, resonate better with the word purpose. So that's why I'm going to continue to use the word purpose. But having a purpose is really important to your overall happiness. So coming up with a purpose first starts with the external world. You see something out there that you decide you want or that you want to change, depending on what your purpose is. And so it starts with an external observation. So it does semi come from somewhere out there. But it also comes from within because there is some kind of tie that you have to this external thing. Something about that thing that you want or the thing that you want to change really um, rocks you to your core. It really resonates. It builds this internal desire. <clears throat> and that desire is very uniquely yours. It's not something, it's something that's triggered by the outside, but that was there all along. So it's really coming from inside of yourself. And the reason why that is so imp imp uh, so important, where are my words? The reason why that is so important is because in life there are a lot of disappointments that happen. That's just how it goes. <laughs> <clears throat> there are things that we want that we don't get. There are interactions that we have that aren't as positive as we would like. We say a thing one way and it gets interpreted another way and leads down a whole spiral of issues. <laughs> um, 
yeah, it's just kind of it's just kind of what it is. Like we place our hearts or our bets on something, and then it doesn't turn out the way we very optimistically and very like genuinely invested in and expected to turn out. So that's always going to happen, and that's that's really just part of the journey of us trying to become more of ourselves and be more compassionate and really just like grow the universe from that level and be more loving to ourselves as well as to others. So that's just kind of, this is kind <clears> of <throat> the life game, I guess. So all these things are going to be happening around you and outside of you. And that's why it's so important to your happiness that you have something that only comes from inside of you, something that truly is yours. And so <clears throat> even when these disappointments happen around you, you always have that one thing that you so want inside, that little gem inside of you that you will continue to pursue no matter what happens around you. So <clears throat> maybe like your your goal or your purpose is that you want to read the Encyclopedia Britannica from A to Z three times over. It doesn't matter if someone's mean to you one day, like that's not going to change your desire to complete that goal. And it doesn't matter if people come in and out of your life, that goal is always going to be there. And it's something that you can always strive towards and work towards. So it's something that's truly yours that can never be taken away from you. And it's what will continue pulling you throughout life and carry you through the disappointments that can occur. And I feel like I am creating such a dreary <laughs> version of life because there's a lot of really happy moments too, um, of course. And... <clears throat> Those are the things that you should really pay attention to, but having that purpose will allow you to see those negative moments in your life as just moments in your life because you have that happy internal goal within you that will kind of pull you out and carry you through and that you can always rely on. Like the only person you can ever really rely on is yourself. And so when you have something that you really care about and are striving towards, that's you being able to rely on yourself over and over and over again. And your, your goals and your purpose can also disappoint you at times. Maybe you really want to have a career in this field and you got the job and then all of a sudden there was a layoff or maybe you made a mistake and you ended up getting fired and that feels like a blow to you. But the thing about something that is truly a purpose, a true desire of yours is that we're all elements, we're all five elements, the fifth one's like ether, but one of those elements is fire and it's the fire that rings within you no matter what. And so maybe you lose your job in the career that you really had your heart set on and you get thrown off your game for a couple weeks because the disappointment is real, but you just can never let it go. It's something that no matter how many times you get disappointed, you're always going to want to strive for. And so the purpose is just like, that, that's what makes a good purpose or goal. It's something that you just can't give up on. It's you get to choose what you came here to do, but it really feels like you came here to do that one thing because you can't let it go. And the other thing about having your purpose is that it gives you a confidence that you wouldn't have without it because it's something that is just so specific to you and who you are and what really matters to you. And when you really focus on it, it's a way of taking care of yourself, of appreciating yourself and being there for yourself. And so when you invest time in something that really matters to you like that, it just, it's really just you focusing on you, even though your goal may involve external components, like maybe you want to go out and save the world. And so you think it's about the world, but it's also, and it is, but it's also about you because that's really you um, fulfilling a desire that is within yourself. And so when you give yourself attention like that, on something that really matters to you that is a form of loving yourself and when you love yourself you just naturally rise in the happiness and the confidence and both of those together allow you to live that happy life that fulfilling life and really stay solid in who you are despite what goes on around you so i feel like it really gives you a lot of power and a lot of I don't want to say control but you feel like you have a lot more control over your life even if your personal purpose you know, even if like you lose that job, you know, there's still an element of I really want this and I'm going to go out and get it. And you just want to make it happen because it just means that much to you. The alternative to not having a purpose that you are paying attention to is that the moment something happens in your life that doesn't really go your way or that really devastates you, 
you identify with that devastation and start to see yourself as not as good, not as enough, uh, not as enough, or like it was your fault or there's something wrong or like the world is over because you're not, you don't have something inside of you that you're like living for. You're living for whatever is happening around you. And when whatever's happening around you disappoints you or doesn't go the way you want, you're kind of at the whims of everything around you. But when you have your own purpose, you're very centered. Things can happen around you, but you don't get as affected by them because you know who you are. You're a lot stronger in who you are. So um, we've kind of defined in general terms what purpose is. And then um, I think we've talked enough about uh, why it's really important to have a purpose and how that really adds into your own personal life happiness, your confidence, your inner strength. You're feeling grounded and feeling centered. So how do you find your purpose? That is just such a mystery, I think, to even people who have a purpose because it's always developing as we grow. And like I said, there is an external component to your purpose where you are an observer and you see things in the world that you want or that you want to be better, like you want to change. And that activates within you something that was already there, but the external side activates it within you and you realize like this really matters to me this is a value of mine this is how i want the world to be or how i want my life to be so that's kind of how to find it but again you know finding your purpose is just one of those things that can change through life and also can be very elusive it's like it just seems so big sometimes but there are ways to find it so in that how to cure loneliness article i i mentioned a little bit about what to do when you're lonely to find your purpose. And the thing about being lonely is that one, you think you're the only one feeling it. You feel alone and you feel like you are alone in your loneliness, but a lot of people experience loneliness. I, I feel like almost everybody deals with lone loneliness. And the other thing about it is that you think that you need to solve your internal loneliness by, loneliness is an internal feeling, but people try to go out and fulfill it with external things. They might go out and hang out with friends because they think, well, I'm lonely, so if I surround myself with people, then I'm not really alone, so am I really lonely? But that doesn't really work because the feeling is still there internally, and so that's why um, it's really important to have that purpose, like I was saying. So, yeah, and, and that, that leads to um, advice that you probably wouldn't think of, which is when you are lonely, you should actually spend time alone so you can find yourself. And when you find yourself, it's that self-love that just resonates. And self-love, just love for yourself and love for others has no bounds. It, it can be infinite. And so there is no void that it can't fill, right? So that's why you need to be alone. So um, some of the things that I mentioned in that article to help you find that purpose, help you find that happiness, help you find that love for yourself is... Meditation. I think meditation is really important. I think that that is probably the way to start is just spend some time for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, just sitting and just tell yourself that this is the time for me where I, there is nothing I need to do, nowhere I need to be except for where I am right now in this moment. And just I would say do that for a few days. I think that's like a good practice for everybody, especially if you haven't meditated in a while. I think that that just like resets you to happiness so fast. There are other, so that's one way to do it is meditate and just see what comes up, what thoughts come up, what feelings come up. They can be good or bad. It doesn't matter. You embrace them either way. They're equally worthy. You just let them come up. Another way is after you've done the meditation, which I think really just like sets you, <laughs> grounds you. After you've done that for a few days, as you go out through the world, just see what you're called to. What books do you feel like reading? And what ideas stick out from those books? And what are you drawn to? And what kinds of parties do you like to go to? What kinds of activities do you like to go to? Just go where you're drawn and just allow life to kind of carry you and just follow your, your joy. Or I think like Joseph Campbell used to always say, follow your bliss. So just kind of do that, just follow that. And I think through that, you will naturally start getting activated internally to your own internal happiness and things will start to come together for you. You'll start to see things that you really like. You'll start to get these ideas that also meditation will help you get like ideas um, that really help guide you to that next step. You try out a few different 
purposes or goals and just see how they go? And or is it something that really has that fire element? Does it really activate that fire element within you? And you can journal. I know a lot of people like to journal, but okay. So my favorite way, which is what we're going to do in part two of this video, so this video doesn't become too long, is do uh, like a um, full body, full spirit, full like heart, full mental, full emotional activation, like healing activation. And we're going to do that in part two of this video. So um, let me just explain a little bit about what that is. And then um, I'm going to end this video and then watch part two. And that's where I will do the healing and activation for you. So healing and activation is basically where I tune into you and your resonance. And then I will receive words that will activate you at the vibrational level to help ground you and center you and also help you identify your purpose. And so all you have to do is sit back and listen. You can watch the video, you can close your eyes, whatever really feels right to you and just sit back and listen. And it doesn't matter if you understand the words, it doesn't matter if you agree with the words, either way you're gonna be activated at vibrational levels because it's not just the mental level that's coming through for me, it's the, it's the full vibrational level. So sometimes there are things that um, you don't really think apply to you, but they may. You just may not be aware of it because it's at a very deep vibrational level. So yeah, that's going to be part two of this video where I'm going to go ahead and do that healing activation for you. So um, that's my favorite way of finding your purpose, identifying with your purpose, and really just grounding with yourself and feeling whole with yourself and shifting also your external reality with true tangible outcomes. So yeah, I'm really excited to do that video for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. I hope this was informative and helpful and that you are excited to identify your purpose or maybe um, get back to the purpose that you know you already have that maybe you've let go and relight that fire within you and go after it and start living the life of your dreams and really start feeling fulfilled and happy and just so grounded and just so just so like inspired through your own life that it's just amazing. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys in part two.